And once again, what was your thought when the phone call ended? Uh, I'm really going to do this. Okay. Then you mentioned a, a thought after that about the FBI stopping you. Right. Tell me about that thought. Well, once I got outside and was in the light, I thought that the FBI would come in and arrest me. Once you got outside the car in your gear? Yeah. And were in the lights, you said? Yeah. Okay. Did you do that quickly and move quickly into the theater, or did you stand there a while? There was kind of like a, a corridor in the back. So I went down that, and then you could also go to the side a little bit and be out of sight of the back parking. Still outside the building? Still outside the building. So about how long were you outside your car and outside the building in your gear? Um, maybe two minutes. Really? That long? I don't know if that's long or not. Okay. And I'm not saying that I don't believe you or that that's not accurate, but that's your memory of about how long it was. Uh, it could have been a minute. I don't know. If you were to have gotten out of your car and walked to the door and entered it, roughly how long would that have taken? Fifteen seconds. So substantially, you took some, it sounds like you're saying, you took substantially more time to re-enter the theater than was necessary. Is that your memory? Um, yes, I was kind of in the alcove a little bit. Tell me about that, that period of time. What, what were you doing? What was going on? Um, I was standing there on the outside, and I could see in through the crack of the door. Okay. Are you in the light at that point, or not in the light? I'm in the light, but it's shielded from the back parking lot. Okay. And what what is the feeling or the purpose or the... If I were watching you from afar or on a video or something, what would I be seeing? What would I be thinking is going on? Um, what's he waiting for, I guess? I don't know. Well, let me ask you, what, what were you waiting for? Um, I don't know why I waited. I can think of waiting strategically to be sure it was clear, or waiting hoping someone would stop you, or waiting to be sure your gear was on right, or reasons like that. Do any of those ring a bell or, or not? Um... Well, I dropped a tear gas canister, and I had to look for that, and I couldn't find it. Oh, you couldn't find it? What, did it stay outside? I don't know. It was when I was getting out of the door of the car. So it kind of fell, and I don't know where it fell. So you didn't recover it before you went back in? I had two, so I wound up just using the one I had. Okay. Did you spend some time excuse me, looking for it? Uh, maybe 30 seconds. How'd you feel when something dropped that, that that sounds like an unexpected thing happening? What thoughts or feelings did that bring up as you were trying to carry out the mission? Um, it didn't bring up any feelings. Just that I needed to find it. And you needed to find it because? Uh, for crowd control. No sense of panic or no, something's gone wrong. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Thank you. You went out the door. How'd you get back in? Those doors generally locked from the inside. I had looked all around for a device that would go onto the door and fold it open 
with as minimal amount of space open as possible. So I wound up buying picnic table tablecloth clamps. Or little clips that fit on the that hold the tablecloth to a table. Yeah. So if you can imagine like turning a table sideways, then it looks like a door. Mm-hmm. And you can put it on the door and it won't close all the way. But be open just a very little bit. Was there a handle on the outside of the door so you could grab the door to open it? Or how did that work? Um, there was the width of the door. so Okay, it kept the door from even... It, it didn't stop the, the bolts from coming through, but it kept the door from closing into the jam. Right. Okay. So you're going back inside. And what all are you carrying? Um, a shotgun um, in the AR-15 was a sling around me in front. And the handgun was in my belt uh, in one of the pouches where there was a bunch of handgun magazines. One handgun? Yeah, I left the other one in the passenger door. Okay. Any particular reason you left it in the passenger door? That's where I was changing gearing up. Did you forget it there or leave it there on purpose? Um, leave it there on purpose. And why? Um, because it would have been extra weight to carry. Okay. Did you have the gas mask on at that point? I had the gas mask on in the car. In the car, okay. And the helmet? Yep. Okay. Walk me through. You go in through the outer door. Then what happens? And what do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? First, I... Um, opened the tear gas canister while I was still outside the door and it made a hissing sound and then I went inside and tossed it over on the right side of the theater. As you walk up from the outside door, is there any other door between you and the audience? Or no, there's only that one door. Is there any curtain or anything like that? It's set at an angle so the the whole audience can't see you, but they can still see you when you enter the door. Okay. How did it feel to be really doing it? Um, then it was an autopilot. Exhilaration or No, none of that. Caution or No. Sensitivity to what's around you. Uh was looking with at what's around me. Okay. Are you aware of what was around you? Or? Um, yeah, I could like see people trying to leave and sitting down and under their seat. Yeah. Actually, I'm thinking right now about still about going in from the door. The canister's been opened. Right. At that point, are you on autopilot or not yet? At that point, I'm on autopilot. Some people who are in experiences like that, for one reason or another, are very sensitive to what's going on around them, very aware of little things and big things. No, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. No. How about vision? How well could you see at that point going in from the door? I couldn't see very well at all. Because? Because there were scratches in the depth of the gas mask and... It was brighter outside than it was inside. Okay. Then you come around the curtain or around whatever the partition is and toss the canister? Yeah. Walk me through from there. Um, Then I raised the shotgun and saw that people were getting up in like the back left corner. So I like shot up that direction. And then I don't remember any of the other shots of the shotgun. Any idea of why those people were getting up in the back left corner? Well, they could see me all decked out with my guns and stuff. Okay. So you shot in that direction. Do you know whether you hit anything? Um, I heard a scream. You heard a scream? Yeah. Slow down a little, because 
because I want to kind of eat step if you don't mind. You shot how many times toward the folks in the upper left? Uh, I think the shotgun held five or six, uh, six shells. So okay. I shot all six of them. Emptied in that, in that direction, okay. Go ahead, please. I didn't know what, uh, just in the direction of the people. I don't remember after the back corner where I fired them. Okay. But then I uh, threw the gun down and switched to the AR-15. And uh, I don't remember where I shot those ones either, except for, like, two people who tried to run away, and I shot, like, three shots at them. But there were many more people in the theater than the two who were trying to run away. Right. Did their running away prompt you to shoot them? It made me kind of focus on them or divert my attention to them because okay. I can't have everybody running away from the scene. Yeah. Tell me what, what you mean, I can't have everybody running away. Well, because then I'm kind of out of control of the situation. Okay. While you were firing, did anybody get out while you were firing? Yeah, the two people who ran away and then afterwards... Uh, four people, I think, carried a guy out, and they got out the back exit, the emergency exit. Okay, so they came out the exit, you came in? Yeah. And I think we'll get to them in a minute. So you're firing the AR now? Yeah. And tell me how you fire an AR with the gas mask on. Uh, you put it up to your shoulder and start sh shooting. Can you sight down the barrel with the gas mask on? I had a, a scope on it, but I I didn't use it to sight. I just shot randomly. In the direction of people, but randomly would have... Randomly towards the people. Towards, okay. At least some of the time you were trying to shoot specific people. Right, so those two people who ran with the specific people, and then there was one other guy which they carried out who was a specific person I shot at. Do you recall shooting anyone who you knew was already hit? No, because I couldn't tell who was hit or not. You can't see. Okay. Did you see anyone fall from being hit? No. Oh. Um, they got down kind of behind the seats pretty fast. Okay. You didn't see anyone actually hit by bullets or shells or, or shot? I saw the one wounded guy they carried out kind of flop. <laughs> but I didn't see where I hit him or that was the only one. Did you see the hit with anybody? What do you mean by right? the fellow being carried out? You knew he had been hit, right? Did you see when he? Did you see it when he was hit? I determined that he was hit because he fell flop. Was there any point at which you saw the hit on anybody? No, I don't think so. Do you remember seeing the hit on anything? Did you hit a wall? Hit a seat? No. Okay. How about the sound? What did all that sound like? Um, well, I had my music in to drown out uh, sounds. And I, I guess I didn't hear much. How high was the music turned up? To its full volume. Full volume. So what could you hear besides the music? Um, I, I don't remember hearing the gunshots. Okay. And you don't recall what the music was, but just that it was a, a well, techno? Just that it was plain. And it was techno? You don't recall hearing 
the sound of the guns, the report from the guns? No. Although I could when I was out on the range with my music playing. Yeah. So on the range, you used the, the buds as well? I did the music thing too, yeah. How'd you do that with the noise cancellation headphones? I didn't use them all the time. I used uh, my like uh, wireless headphones for some of the other time. What do you make of the fact that you don't recall hearing the shot, the, the reports, the shooting sounds in the theater, even though they were released as loud? I think it was chaotic, kind of a chaotic situation. Do you think you heard them and don't remember hearing them? I think I heard them, but I don't, yeah, I don't recall okay. the gunshots. Anything else that you heard besides the music? No, no. You said a minute ago that you heard the people up in the uh, far screen. I heard screen. the one person scream at the beginning, and that was, that was that. I didn't hear anything else. Okay. Did the music stop at any point, or did it keep going the whole time? It was set to play the whole time. I don't know if it did or not, because I, I wasn't really hearing the music either. Hmm. Tell me about that. You weren't really hearing the music either. Yeah, I don't remember the music. So even if it had paused or was between beats or between songs, you don't remember things being heard in the course of what happened? Right, yeah. Okay. Other senses, did you smell anything? Even with the No, gas I had a gas mask. Right. Yeah. There are certain smells you can smell through the gas mask. I didn't smell any of them. Could you smell the the uh, right gas. right gas? Yeah. No. Okay. Any physical sensations on your body that you were aware of? No. Heat, cold, sweat. No. Tingle. No. no, no. The feel of the floor under your boots. The weight of the weapon in your hand. Any of that? No. What do you make of, of, at least your memory today is that you didn't feel it. What do you make of it? It was a pretty important event. Um, right. Uh, so I didn't remember every detail. What you're sort of saying is that in terms of some things you don't remember any details. Yeah, it's kind of blocked out. Do you think it's been blocked? I, I don't know the answer to this either. Do you think it's been blocked since the event, or do you think it was blocked during the event and you weren't perceiving anything at that time? What do you think? During the event. Okay. You've dropped the shotgun. You're using the AR. Are you moving around or are you standing still? What? I'm basically in that corner the whole time, except for it's like going to the light, which is later, okay. the lighted hallway. Move, move me through up to that point, can you? What, what gets us to uh, There's the emergency exit, and I go in, and it's in the corner, and I shoot people from the corner. Emergency exit. Down low, their exit outside or an exit at the back of the theater? The emergency exit is at the back of the theater. I, I'm, I'm not picturing it quite. You're, there's a, an emergency exit down by the screen. Which you, is at the back of the theater. Okay. Is there also an exit behind the seats? Up no. In the direction of the seats? There's two uh, corridors or aisles okay. besides the seats, at the, and they go to uh, the front door of okay. the theater. The ordinary doors that would lead out of the theater. Doors, yeah. <coughs> at any point, did you go to those doors? No, I went halfway down the aisle way. Half, about halfway to the doors. To, on which side? Um. Well, coming from in through the emergency exit on the left side. Okay. So tell me about that walk and what you were doing as you walked there. Uh, 
was checking the weapon, and I uh, discharged the magazine that had misfired and was trying to put a new one in, but they wouldn't go inside the, they wouldn't click in there. Okay. So as you were, what was your purpose of walking up that app? To be able to see, because I couldn't see very well in the corner. And it was a safer spot to reload. Was it a better lit? Is that one of the things you're saying? Yes, the eyes are lit all the... Okay. Kind of and a safer spot to reload. Right. So, so, because they couldn't see me in there. So, this wasn't along seats. This was in some no, way that the seats would... Like, there's this dialway and the seats would go up. Okay. Was down. And you went down. Um, so what happened? Did the magazines wouldn't click into the AR? Right. Then what happened? Um, then I, I walked out. I think before I went into the highway, I, I shot some with the handgun, but I don't remember shooting the handgun. Okay. Before you went to the, into the highway? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't remember shooting it, but, but you think you probably shot some people with the handgun? Well, I've known afterwards because it got revealed by lawyers in court that I shot the handgun. Okay. The shooting that you did, did any of it occur any place other than down near the screen where you came in from the outside? Door? No, it was all in that one corner. Did you walk up the aisles at all and look down the aisles to see if there was anybody behind seats or anything like no, that? No, I didn't walk up into the stands. Okay. What else about being in there? Did it happen or did you feel or experience or sense? Um, there wasn't anything else. Remember muzzle flash? No. Had you practiced the process of changing the weapons, emptying the shotgun, dropping it, starting with the AR, had you practiced that before? Not dropping the shotgun, or, but um, yeah, and turning the magazines and reloading, I practiced that. Okay. Why do you suppose the reloading was so difficult this time with the AR? It didn't work, I guess. I think the main reason why it was because uh, it was so dark that it was hard to see. Okay. They're shaped a certain way so that they can only go in one way. Right. Yeah. And you were aware of that. They, you were putting They're them in. Curved. Right. So you put them in with the curve in the right direction. Right. right forward. Yeah. Okay. I mentioned this when you were when we were talking about the range. My understanding of those magazines is that they need not to be completely filled in order to minimize the chance of a jam. I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay. You've got the music on. You're not aware right now of having heard anything. Was there any outward indication of how people were feeling or reacting to what you were doing? No, when I was walking back from the highway, I turned and looked at the stands and they were completely empty, except for like the first row where people were ducking down. Do you think they knew that you had walked back up that highway and they, that's why they were ducking down or, or am I missing it? I think they'd previously been ducking down and we're still ducking down while I return. So what do people feel when there's someone in the front right corner of the theater shooting loud weapons and screams being heard, things like that? What's what, the question? What do people feel when they're experiencing that? Um, 
Uh, terror, I would say. 